big up everybody it's your girl sophie soph aka technically it's ak it's basically sophia aka sophie soph hope you all are doing well you know the day started off with me doing you know watch long and whatnot for norway game against japan Norway got knocked out in the women's world cup so i was obviously you know thinking please united do not mess this up for me which first half we kind of did the second half we showed up we'll talk about it it's obviously this you know second to last preseason game as we have one more left for tomorrow this one was the last one at least for that you know the first teamers you know the ones that will be starting uh against wolves in the opening game on august the 14th but yeah before we dive in make sure you give this video here a big thumbs up and of course also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we are on the road to 3k subscribers so let's let's do it help a sister out by sharing liking which is free the more likes we get the more we're able to push the video out there for more people to see also feel free to join the sft membership and let's start the video so yeah when it comes to this game i mean it's the first ever time that mad united and rc loans lens if you will has played together this is actually the former team of um rafa varan i believe this was before he um, um obviously it was of course before he played for uh Real madrid probably the, the, the game i mean the club before right before either way you know has of course a, a a history with with the french team you know and they they, they no mugs they finished second in league a one point behind psg also with fewest goals conceded in the whole of league a so they, they're ready for champions league they they ain't no mugs not that like you know the league uh, no disrespect but there is levels premier league league a you know it's not really cracking up what it you know maybe people would have assumed that it would be it's just not but regardless loans did showcase that yo we here first half lord have mercy they showed up okay within the 50th 15th minute we can see it okay sloppy pass by diogo dolo diogo dalo okay to then you see onana way out of his line you know he was ready to sweep it up but nope long distance shot from one of the uh forwards from Lons. shipped it up shipped like a proper chip long distance ship over onana's head and it was one nil and i was like yo this is ha this it's gonna be long this okay like, are we really, are we going to make my Saturday even worse? Is is that what we're trying to do? Luckily, that was not the case. But throughout first half, it was not good. It wasn't, it, it, ah, it wasn't good. You see also uh, Mason Mount, bless his heart. He had a howler in this game. Brother was served on a silver platter, literally open goal. Goalkeeper, nowhere. Gonacho was like, yo. Let me just serve it for you. All you need to do is just eat. Just finish the dinner. That's it. He couldn't do that. Completely horrible kick to it. And yeah, there's also another chance where it didn't work out. He had a few chances, but but that one burnt my soul. That made me extremely uncomfortable. And I'm thinking, yep. Yeah, um, he gonna be viral today. Uh, you know, best believe the rivals are just waiting, especially the Chelsea fans. They're waiting. Also, Arsenal, they're waiting for Mason Mount to just g give us something to work with here. More. He was like, "Yo, there we go." And I'm like, "Can you give me something but positive to work with? Because I wanna, I wanna believe that I'm a manager." see something i trust my manager even though i don't agree with the side of a mace of mason mount i still want it back my manager which i will be but i am looking a little bit sideways and thinking he's just eating too much in this game even though he you know in second half when sancho came in and ganacho got stopped off uh and whatnot he moved on to um the left especially when forston came in and, and stuff like that but it's just he just didn't look good. The ones that I really want to highlight for me is Ganacho, incredible on that left-hand side. 
also want to point out Bruno. Bruno was pinging the balls in. Pause, by the way. Crosses. Bam, 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 bam. Pew, pew, pew. In for everybody. But people didn't want to finish the dinner. Thankfully, second half, people wanted to finish the dinners. But in first half, we didn't want to. We didn't want to. Okay? So we need to point those two out. And Rashford, I don't like him necessarily as a striker. I don't, even though when we did get that, you know, that, that, that first goal. And then the second one, he started to, to grow a lot more into the role. But I prefer Rashford way more on the left. Even though Ganacho definitely is like, yo, he, he, he might look like at least the opening game of the season against Wolves. The fact that we did announce Hey Lun, Rasmus Hey Lun. Um, but he wasn't able to play due to him getting a knock, a little bit of an it's a bit of injury in one of the Atalanta training sessions. Probably would need a week to to get match fit. Now I'm thinking I, I don't think we will probably see him for that game. Maybe Spurs. Hey, you never know. You never know. But he, he might be on the bench, and then you start off with the the initial um, lineup that we had, consisting of like. Once again, Casemiro, Bruno, of course, the unit defense is already set. I don't know if it necessarily will be Dallow again. It could be, but Dallow did look very shaky. Right back position needs to be addressed at some point. Even though he has gotten a new long-time contract, but ha, you know, he did score a screamer against Dortmund the other day, but still, though, ooh, you know, it was a little bit all over the place. We, we were very sloppy within that midfield. I do have to be very clear about that. That midfield was not midfielding. Bring me Sufjan Amrabat right now. We got to fix that midfield because the midfield of Casemiro, Bruno Mount, that ain't working. That ain't working. You got to fix that up. I do also want to say, Anthony, he, he looked good. He got to go. Got to insist. Hey, Casemiro, you know, I believe he got the third goal, if I remember correctly. I thought him it was potentially Rashford, but no, I think it kind of hit Casemiro at the end there, but regardless, he was a little bit sloppy here and there. I think with Casemiro, especially, you do need to get a bit more, you know. He, he needs more games to really click, and once he click, he'll click. I'll tell you that much. Martinez looking good as well. Ran a little bit shaky here and there, but I felt they got a bit more into the game. I felt like maybe the defenders started to click more in second half. It started to, okay, we can go a bit further up. And Jesus, it's really raining here. You know, it's the pouring outside. For, apologies, but freaking hell, it's just, it's. We're starting to figure out with Onana, but I'm seeing what we're trying to cook, and I'm open. I'm open. Um, Sancho, you know, had an okay sub when he came in, but like a little bit sloppy here and there. Still believe that there's something in there, though. So I, st I still want to believe that there is a player there. I want to. I want to. But yeah, other than that, it's not really that much to necessarily say. I mean, we'll see the youngsters be playing tomorrow. I will be doing joint watch along for that game, alongside, of course, the Community Shield, which Man City will be facing Arsenal. I probably will be focusing a lot more on the Community Shield, as it's I'm pretty sure it's showcased on TV. And on my iPad, I'll be trying to see at least a, most of what I can from the, you know, the youngsters in the preseason game against Athletic Bilbao tomorrow. So, yeah, um, make sure you like the video. I want to hear your thoughts about the game, of course, as well. Um, and feel free to also, of course, join the SFT membership. Do subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the watch for tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to rest. So, see you soon. Peace out. Sophie's out. Bye-bye.